Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313 and welcome to episode 3 of my request installation series. Sorry, just adjusting my mic. Um, so, um, if you have seen this series before, basically it's uh, a series where I show you how to install mods. But not just any mods, these are mods that are requested by uh, users, so you know, they can request two mods, one mod, 10 mods, it doesn't matter as long as you request it, I will go ahead and work on it. So this mod request that I'm working on today, um, the person has been asking for a while and I just now get around to uh, getting it out there, but you know, I did it, so that's, that's all that matters. Um, so what I'm going to show you how to be uh, uh, installing today is Industrial Craft 2 and Thom Craft. Um, so yeah, just like all my other episodes, I'm going to show you how to install it two different ways. One using MultiMC and one using the regular way. So let's go ahead and do MultiMC first. We're going to open it up. We're going to create a new instance. I'm just going to call this EP3 because it is episode 3. You're going to right click on the instance that you just created. You're going to say edit mods. Simple enough. You're then going to go wherever you have those mods installed. I happen to have everything organized right here. Right here you have your minecraft.jar tab. This is where you're going to put all the jar mods that are required for the installation. Um, the only thing that you need for this is mod loader um, for 1.2.5 of course and minecraft forge client 3.1.3.105. So you can just highlight all those and click and drag. Now you're going to want to reorient these so that mod loader is up top, that way it gets loaded first. Okay, so now you're going to go over to Minecraft slash mods. You're going to go to wherever you have these two mods installed. I have Thomcraft 2.1.6 and Industrial Craft 2 Client 1.95B. You're going to cl uh, click and drag those over there. And it doesn't really matter what order those in, so you're just going to go close out. Now when we double click on our uh, instance, it's going to you know, install Minecraft, do all that fun stuff, download packages, install the mods, all that technical stuff. And it's going to try and open up, but we're going to run into a problem. This is a block ID problem. You can see that um, slot 249, which is a block ID, is already occupied by uh, a block added by Thomcraft when adding an industrial craft 2 block. So we have a problem. We're going to exit out of that and the way that we can do this is we could right click on here and click view folder. You're then going to go into this dot minecraft folder and go into uh, config. Alrighty. So now you see you have your thongcraft 2 config and your ic2 config. I'm going to open up both of these just so I could show you what's wrong. So here's thongcraft 2. Oops and then there's IC2. Alright, so if we scroll down here, oh, wait, what happened? The block IDs for IC2 have not been generated yet because, um, well, they just didn't have a chance to. They ran into an error before they could be generated. So we're going to have to do something. Now that you can make up all the uh, IDs yourself, but I don't really want to do that. I don't know about you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Edit Mods and we're going to delete Thongcraft 2. Remove. There we go. So now when we open up this, this will load up a Minecraft with only Industrial Craft 2 installed. That way it can get all the um, original block IDs generated. Uh, that way we can see them when we're trying to compare them to what we have with Thongcraft. So now we're going to go back into view folder. We're going to go back into dot Minecraft. And now we're going to go into the config. Now we still have Thongcraft 2 because it was already generated. But now we have IC2, and if we look here, we'll notice that IC2 now has all the block IDs generated. We're then going to open up uh, Thongcraft 2, of course. Alrighty, so now that we have these two, we can see where the problem is. You can see uh, right here is block ID 240. And then if you look over here, somewhere in this mix, we can also see 240 as long as most of these other things that go with it. So we had to change pretty much all of these. Through experimentation and just some messing around, I found out that uh, if you start at uh, 214, because right here we have 216, there's nothing below that, so we can go ahead and start at 215. And we're just going to go down from that, so this would be 2, oops, down, decrease. 
So this is going to be 214, this is going to be 213, it's going to be 212, it's going to be 211, it's going to be 210, 209, 208, 07, somewhere I think I just turned off numlock, 7, yes I did, oh jeez, hold on, experiencing some technical difficulties with my number pad, there we go. 207, 206, and 20, not 85, but 205. There we go. So we're going to save this. You could either press Control S or just save right there. Exit out, save that too, even though we didn't change it. And now when we exit out of here, uh, we have to go back into Edit Mods because don't forget, we did delete DOMCraft, so now we want to reinstall it. And we'll go back into here, back into here, just click and drag. There we go. So the good news is we don't have to change any of the block IDs because they were already loaded. And they will stay there. They won't be deleted or anything. Go back into Minecraft and you'll see that it opens up. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world for you guys in creative mode. Just so I can show you that everything worked and I'm not just lying and making stuff up. Sorry, that was my knuckles. I have a bad habit of cracking them. Cheap. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and do this so it doesn't drive me crazy with my headset. And in our inventory, if we scroll down, we'll start to see some Thalmcraft stuff. Let's get some random things. And then we also see some Industrial Craft 2 stuff. So, how cool. And everything works. Alrighty. So there we go. That was the way to install Industrial Craft 2 and Thalmcraft for Minecraft 1.2.5 using MultiMC. So now, if you don't want to use MultiMC, here's when you want to start listening. Alrighty, I'm going to show you how to install these mods using the regular way. First off, you have to find your .minecraft folder. If you don't already know how to do this, you can press your Windows button, you type in percent app data, percent. This will take you to your roaming folder where you can then find your .minecraft folder. Of course, I have a shortcut right here very handy you should definitely look into doing that so now we're going to go into our dot minecraft we're going to go into our bin we're going to right click on minecraft.jar we're going to click open with winrar archiver we're then going to go to wherever we have our mods downloaded i happen to have them right here and you'll see that i have two separate folders jar and mods since we have our jar file open we have our jar mods right here we have to install mod loader and Minecraft Forge, I have version 3.1.3.105, which I believe is the most recent stable build of Minecraft Forge. So what I did just right there, I kind of forgot to say it as I was doing it, but you delete that meta in folder. You click on it, press delete, and press OK. Uh, if you don't do that, and you, and then stuff won't work. So now we're going to double click on Mod Loader, we're going to highlight everything, and click and drag. Press OK. That is done. We're going to do the same with Minecraft Forge. Highlight everything, click and drag, press OK. There we go, that is done as well. We're going to exit out of everything and open up Minecraft. We're going to uh, just load up Minecraft, that way everything loads and we can make sure that we installed the jar mods correctly. Um, this way if you do run into a problem you can kind of isolate it and see uh, where exactly you went wrong. So we're going to quit out of that because we don't need any more. We're going to go back into our .minecraft. Also going to go to wherever we have these mods installed. You see that you now have a mods folder. This is where we're going to drop Industrial Craft 2, Client 1.95b, uh, .jar, and also Thongcraft 2.1.6 zip. Or .zip. You're going to click and drag these. I like to copy them here. And there we go. We're now going to exit out of that. I'm going to go back into .minecraft and see if things will work for us. It just so happens that... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Uh, wait for it a little longer. There we go. It doesn't work. Um, the problem that we have here is a block ID error. Uh, the most pain in the butt thing to have to deal with with installing mods. So you can see it tells you the block ID that is in question, and then the two mods that are being that are uh, that the conflict is between. This happens to be between Industrial Craft 2 and Thalmcraft. Surprise, right? So we're going to go back into our .minecraft, 
we're going to go into the config folder and we're going to open up IC2 and Thongcraft2. Uh, open. There we go. We now have Thongcraft and Industrialcraft. Right here we can see the block IDs. Right here we cannot. The reason why the block IDs were not generated is because um, the block IDs did not have a chance to generate. As soon as it tried to add the first item in, it ran into an error and just didn't do anything. So we're going to go into our mods and we're just, you could either delete this, I'm just going to drag it to my desktop, that way I can bring it back. But what we're going to do is we're only going to install Industrial Craft 2 for now, that way all the block IDs can load up and we can see what the problem is. There we go, once that loads up we can exit back out and again go back into our .minecraft. Then going to go into our config folder and we can then again open up these two. Notice how Thongcraft was not deleted because, well, it just wasn't. So now we're going to open these two up so that we have them side by side because that just makes it easier. And we can see all the block IDs that this mod uses and all the block IDs that this mod uses. You can also see the uh, some of the problems. You have 246 over there and you have 246 right here. So this is where we have a problem. Through experimentation I just happened to find out that if you start from 215 which is one below the lowest block ID that is used here. You can see 216 is the lowest one right there. So if we start at 215 and we go down to 214, 213, 212, 211, 210, 209, 208, uh, 207, 206, and 205. Now we can save this, either pressing Control S or just going to save. Save that too, even though we didn't do anything. Now we have to go into our mods. And we have to just click and drag that back into there. Into there. That way, Thomcraft is loaded. So now, if we open up Minecraft, we log in. Wait for it to load, and we see that everything is a okay. So I'm going to create a new world in Creative and just show you the guys, show you guys that everything is working. Almost done. Alrighty. So now if we go into our inventory and we scroll down, we'll see some stuff from uh, uh, Thongcraft. Just going to get some random random things. And then some stuff from Industrial Craft too. So uh, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Alrighty. So I'm just going to place these down, show you that everything works. That way uh, you guys can't complain too much. Alrighty. Alrighty, so uh, I hope that this tutorial has helped you um, not only install these two mods, but um, in, uh, what am I trying to say? But also, you know, teach you how to um, edit block IDs. That way, you can uh, maybe install other mods yourself. Um, so this has been drawing cra drawing craft, uh, drawing kid 1313 with how to install Industrial Craft 2 and Thongcraft. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, and uh, I already said that, so until next time, I will see you.